Um, but he ended up like just storming out and I'm like, okay. Hey guys, my name is Jess and welcome to today's video. So before I get started in today's video, I just wanted to comment on the fact that I got a new camera and I'm super, super excited about it. I got the Canon 70D and I have a new microphone with it. It has autofocus and I'm currently living my best life. But I'll go into that in a different video if you guys wanna hear more about my filming situation, but I'm just very excited so I thought I would just comment on it briefly. So today's video is going to be all about the worst guest experience I had when I was working at Disney. So if you guys didn't know, I do currently work at Universal, but before that I actually worked at Disney for almost four years. So I spent the year before I started college as well as like three years into college working at Disney. I did a couple different things but this story comes to you from my adventures as working quick service food and beverage at Magic Kingdom so yeah let's just get into it. So I used to work in stands east in the Magic Kingdom which is basically all of the areas in Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, and I guess a part of Main Street, although I never worked on Main Street, so whatever. Um, it was all of the stands, so none of the carts and none of the walk-in sit-down restaurants, but like the stands where you'd like go up to something and then you'd like take food away that wasn't a cart, if that makes any sense. It was really difficult to explain, but like if you go to like Fryer's Nook or like the place near um, Meredith's Meet and Greet with Alice in Wonderland theme, like those type of places, that's where I worked. But I didn't work in like the Starlight Cafe or things like that. So that gives you a little bit of background. So one night I was working at Be Our Guest, the, they're not, no, I wasn't. <laughs> One night I was working at Gaston's Tavern, which is the little quick service food and beverage place um, right in the Bell area, like the Beating the Beast area. It has the like Gaston, or is it Le Fou's Brew? It has Le Fou's Brew, croissants, and like things like that. And so I was working there one night and it was like late and I was just, you know, done with life because <laughs> I was tired and I didn't want to work in food. But I was working, living my best life, and I had this guest come up to me and it was a man. He asked for a cup. Of hot water and so usually when people ask for a cup of hot water it's for their baby don't really know what they do with it but it's for their baby like they heat up the milk or something in it I don't really know but he asked for a cup of like hot water and so the water that we have at Disney and most fast food restaurants that's hot is like boiling hot and it's for tea and it's like comes from the coffee machine type of deal so it's very hot water a rule at Disney that we were like we had to follow was that we are not allowed to give out cups of the hot water because people have literally burned their children not by any like malicious intent i hope but just because they were not careful enough to use the hot water on their baby i don't really know the details we're not allowed to give out hot water that was it there was a way around it where if they asked for it we had to literally like sell them a cup of tea because then it becomes less of like disney slash our we gave it to them more of like they did it to themselves because we gave them tea and they burnt their baby with it type of deal. I don't know the details again, but this is basically what we had to say. So the guy came in, he was, you know, nice-ish, I guess, when he was like, hey, can I have a cup of hot water? And I said, no, sir, um, but I can sell you tea. We're just not technically allowed to give out hot water just per like our policy and just for safety reasons type of deal. And so I explained to him that situation and he was so rude. He was so rude. So I have to buy tea to get hot water. And I said, Unfortunately, yes, like it doesn't make sense in my mind either. However, I gave him the option of going to the baby care area, which is at the front of the park, which in his defense was kind of far away from where we were at. He could go there and get the free hot water and whatever else he needed to do. And he just like was not having it at all. And so I was like, well, I'm sorry, but we can sell you hot tea if you would like. That's the only way that we, we can actually do it. But he literally like scoffed at me and was like, oh, and not like that. That was very feminine, but in a manly way. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, he just kind of scoffed at me and was like, fine, whatever. I sold him tea and I was like, which tea packet do you want? Because we had a couple. I gave him the tea packet or whatever. I don't remember if he chose one or whatever. I just gave it to him. And he like kind of threw it down at the counter. He was about to walk away. And as he's walking away, he turned back around and he said, what's your name? And I said, Jessica from Lutz, Florida, because I'm doing my job. So if you tell someone that I made you mad because I did my job, it's good on me because I was the one that like maintained the policy. I don't know. It was good on me. So I'm like, go complain if you want. But then all my leaders will know that I did my job correctly. So he got my name. I was, you know, sorry about it. But inside I was just like, what is... Why are you being mean to me? I was really, I was very polite to him. I was very, I'm very high on customer service. So I was like, no, I'm really, really sorry. But he ended up like just storming out and I'm like, okay, fine, it's whatever. So a couple of our like, the people that were working with me were like, what just happened? I'm like, I don't know. So we like called our leaders and we're like, this is what happened. If this guy is like, goes up to customer service and like complains about us, like this is the situation. So that like, in the end, it doesn't come back to me even though I don't think it would, but we just covered our little backs. That actually is a moment that 
someone was just so unnecessarily rude and I understood why he was like mad about the situation because yes, he had to go out of his way and yes, he had to pay for tea, but he didn't really have to if he just wanted to walk a little bit. I'm like, I was like literally 19 at the time. And I'm like, why are you being so mean to me? I'm so young. Like I didn't do anything to you. I'm just following the policy. Just be nice to me. So, <laughs> so that was the first story. And as I was telling that story, I just kind of realized I actually had another story. And this one's a little bit shorter, but I thought I would include it in here. So let's do it. So the next story comes to you from when I worked parade audience control at Fantasmic. Fantasmic shifts, I don't know if they still are, but you used to be able to just pick them up. Like if you wanted a shift there, you just would go into like the extra hours hub or whatever it was and you picked up a shift and it was like, you didn't need training for it, which you probably should have, but you didn't need training for it. You just went in and picked up the shift and they told you what to do, you did the thing and it was great. So I had worked at Fantasmic a couple of times and this particular day I was assigned to work the baby stroller area. So like people would come in and there was a very like meticulous way to do it to save the most time and it was like really efficient and we fit a butt ton of strollers in this loading area. So basically a person would come up with the stroller, we'd send them to the far end. Oh my God, I'm doing the Disney point. We'd send them to the far end of the uh, stroller thing and it wasn't that big. It was like maybe two of my rooms. Well, three of my rooms. So we'd send them to the far away point so that the strollers would like come in this way. So it was, it was just like parking, like how you park at Disney, how you park at a theme park, that's how it was. So we would send them all the way down there and we had this one lady who was like really in a hurry. She had like two kids with her and a stroller and I guess she was just like freaking out because she wasn't like the first one there. So she goes and she parks her stroller like at the closest spot possible. So I went and told her, I'm like, ma'am, if you wouldn't mind parking the stroller at the end of the lot so we can kind of fill up. I don't have time for this, I'm already late. And I'm like, ma'am, it, like, it's, it's fine, it's okay. Like literally like the amphitheater is huge. Like if you've been to Fantasmic, like you're gonna get a seat. Like it's, it's giant, it's literally an amphitheater. And so she was like, I just don't have, to, I don't have time for it. And I'm like, it's okay. And so she was like getting angry at me and was just like done with her kids. Like she had obviously had a really rough day. So I was just trying to be nice and make it easier for her, but she wasn't having it. So I told her, I sent her down and she didn't want to do it. So she was literally like, oh, forget it. And then she like told her kids and her kids were like, mom, what, what's going on? So she literally left. She packed up the stroller and then walked out screaming and being mad. Would have been as easy as you parking the stroller and then walking over. Like there were probably like a thousand seats left. I don't know how many seats are in that amphitheater, but at a thousand ish, right? Like there's so many. This woman's like anger, I guess she'd just been done with the day and she just was not having it. Did she miss Fantasmic? And if, if you go to Hollywood Studios, you have to go see Fantasmic. That's like the point, it's so good. Moral of the story is don't be a jerk and you'll actually get to do fun things. Like, but overall my time at Disney was actually very, very positive. I didn't love my job in food and beverage, but I also didn't like hate it. Well, I hated it at first and then I like got to liking making the ice cream cause it was like therapeutic. Anyways, so I was food and beverage first and then I did a couple different things while I was in food and beverage and I also worked as a character tenant for three years. So I've held quite a lot of jobs at Disney. So those are probably my worst guest experiences at Disney. I definitely had a f like a few more of like just weird guests, especially as a character tenant. People were like rude to me a lot, but I guess I was just so used to people being rude to me. It didn't stand out as much as like when I worked in food and beverage and when I worked at Fantasmic because people were not usually as mean, weirdly enough. So yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below if you are not already. It helps me out so, so much. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers and we might hit it before this video goes up, which is literally absolutely insane. So if you want to help me on my journey to, I don't know, 30,000 subscribers, click that subscribe button below because it helps me out so much. Also give me a comment if you guys want to know anything or if you have video suggestions. I am so excited to be filming a ton more because I have this beautiful camera. Look at this autofocus. You see this? <gasps> it's on my hand. It's on my face. Literally, I'm just so excited. In addition, I also have an Instagram. So check her out right here. I'll put the little thing. <laughs> and I post so much on there, too much. So go check it out. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.